So this is problem number 12 on uh, centroid of plane figures. It is asked to find the centroid of the shaded area. Okay. So to find the centroid of the shaded area while finding the total area here, we, we have to find the area of the shaded portion alone. So means uh, in the total rectangle, if we deduct area of the triangle and area of the semicircle, you will get the area of the shaded portion. Therefore, uh, let me write the uh, reference axis first. This is the reference x-axis and this is the reference y-axis. Reference y-axis. Okay. Now I will take this uh, total rectangle as component number 1. Total rectangle as component overall rectangle as component number one and uh, I'll take this semicircle as component number two and triangle as component number three okay so semicircle and triangle both are unshaded components we have to deduct the area of both the components while finding the area okay now figure is symmetric about y axis right figure is symmetric about y axis therefore x bar is now how much it is directly it is mentioned in the figure x bar is equal to 80 mm so write a sentence figure is symmetric about figure is symmetric about about y axis therefore x bar is equal to directly 80 mm distance of centroid of figure from reference y axis it is directly at mm okay so we have to find only y bar to find the y bar we have what is the formula we have so we know that y bar is equal to sigma a y by sigma a is the formula okay to find y bar we need area y1 y values and a y values these x values are not needed Okay, not needed. Only we need component area y and a y values. That's it. Okay. We need only y values. So here we need y values and a y values that's it okay now i will start with uh, first component that is rectangle before that we will write the formula okay we will write the formula so if i take g2 as centroid of semicircle okay write the formula for semicircle see for semicircle distance of centroid from its diameter is always what 4 r by 3 pi from its end points it is equal to radius so then for triangle here it is h by 3 from the base and b by 2 from the point okay now we will take the components one by one. First component is total rectangle. Total rectangle 1. Area is total width of the rectangle is 80 plus 80, 160. 160 mm is the width of rectangle and depth is 180. So 160 B into D. So 160 is the width. 80 mm is the depth. So 128 two zeros. Correct. Then y value for rectangle d by 2 
D is 80 by 2, 40 mm. 40 mm. Then move on to next component that is semicircle. Semicircle to very important negative sign because it is unshaded portion. You need to deduct the area of the semicircle to get the area of the shaded portion. Minus pi r square by 2 minus pi into radius is given as 30 mm. 30 square by 2. The answer is minus 1413.71. Okay. Coming to the y value. Concentrate here. Y value is nothing but distance of G2 from reference x axis is the y value for semicircle. Okay. Y value for semicircle is nothing but distance of G2 from reference x axis. Distance of G2 from the x axis. So, how we will find that value? You know the overall depth 80 mm. Overall depth 80 mm. In the overall depth 80 mm, if you deduct this 4 or by 3 pi, you will get distance of d2 from the x axis, x axis. Okay, therefore, here overall depth min 80 minus okay, 80 minus 4 or by 3 pi will give the y value for, for, for semicircle means distance of g2 from x axis. That is the y value for semicircle. Okay, 80 minus 4 or by 3 pi. So, 80 minus 4 into radius is 30 by 3 pi. The answer is 67.26268 millimeter. Then go for the next component triangle. Here also negative sign because on side portion half into base into height minus half into base of the triangle is 40, height is 20, 40 into 20, it is minus 400 mm square, minus 400 mm square, then coming to the x value, x value for triangle, it is if I take G3 as centroid of triangle, distance of G3 from y axis, so this is the x value, this is the x value, this distance, okay, so it is Directly known, correct? Directly known it is. It is 80 mm. It is given in the figure only. Distance of G3 from Y axis. It is directly given. Directly take X value. Okay. Uh, sorry, here we are finding the Y value. No. So okay, okay. Sorry. Y value. This is this will not come into picture. X value. Coming to the Y value of triangle. Y value for triangle means it is distance of G3. G3 from reference x axis. This is the y value. This is the y value. So it is 10, means here it is given 10 plus h by 3. 10 plus h by 3. So 10 plus height of triangle is 20 by 3. 20 by 3. The answer is 16.67. 16.67 millimeter. Now you find AY values. Here it is 512,000. Here it is minus 95,097.848. Then here minus 366. Okay, 6,066.8. Okay, now you find the total. Total area is equal to 10,986.28 and here sigma ay is equal to 410,235.35. Okay, therefore y bar is equal to sigma ay by sigma a. That is 410,235.5 divided by 10,986.28 which gives the answer as 37.341 millimeter. Okay. 
So this completes the problem where x bar is equal to 80 mm and y bar is equal to 37.34 millimeter. Okay. So if you have got any doubts uh, in the solution of this problem, you can post your doubt in the comment section. Thank you.